if you're somebody who is currently a professional, uh, somebody uh, who considers yourself to be anywhere from a white collar uh, all the way down to somebody who's completed a uh, you know you know a trade school, uh, and you feel that you're somebody who is at a standstill, uh, someone that has done basically everything that you're supposed to on quote unquote the path, uh, and you either have not gotten to uh, where uh, you uh, want to go, uh, or you really don't feel like you've gone uh, uh, that far at all, then perhaps what I'm about to say here these next 20 minutes or so is going to be for you. Um, if you haven't gotten that raise, if you haven't gotten that promotion, if you've gotten passed up a bunch of times, if you've gotten laid off when you were the top performer, uh, if any of those types of scenarios sound like something that you've been through or know someone that's been through them or that you fear might happen to you, then this webinar is going to be um, from you. Uh, if you are looking uh, to make more money but your current job just for whatever reason is not giving you that possibility, uh, if you're, if, if, you know, say you have something such as a physical condition, uh, you have kids you have to, that you've got to watch, you've got other responsibilities and frankly getting out of the house uh, for 8, 10, 12 hours a day is just simply not something that's feasible. Um, are you trapped? If any of these uh, you know, questions you're answering yes to, then what I'm going to say here in this webinar is going to be of the utmost importance to you because I felt the same way uh, only a couple of years back. The way I want to start off here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is you know, it's, it, it's important to realize that you know, we are all kind of standing here stagnant as people, as humans on this earth. The ground beneath us is constantly moving. So in order for us not to fall in the holes in the earth, we have to constantly be moving with it or else the ground is going to catch up to us. And there are really three types of people. First off of what I call our cliffhangers. These are going to be people that hang on to the status quo that only do what they know, what other people have told them to do, and really don't think outside the box and try to find solutions to solve their problems. People who fall off cliffs are people that just do whatever. Uh, they don't really think about you know solutions. They don't even see problems coming. They're just there like cogs in the machine. Next thing you know, a big a, a meteor comes out of the sky and just blows away their entire life existence and community. And then finally, you have cliff jumpers. These are going to be people who are constantly looking for a variety of solutions, new ideas, open to new concepts, open to new ways of trying things. Realize that not only are they not always right, but a good portion of the time, they're probably not thinking of all, all of the options considered. They're constantly looking to better themselves to keep going forward, and they're constantly running with the earth in order to avoid falling in the holes beneath us. So who the heck am I to be saying all this uh, crazy stuff? So I'm Tom McKeown. Uh, my background, you know, I, I, I was not a big Ivy League guy, but I was a good B-plus student. I was a good kid known. You know, I played sports. I did scouts. I always, you know, listened to work hard and, re and the rewards will come, right? Kind of what we're all taught going up. The harder you work, the better things will be. I did altar boy community service, never got in trouble. Uh, did, I got my, um, my undergrad and my BA. So I led a pretty good path and followed all the rules growing up. Um, what I dreamt of, I think many of these five things, many of you are going to be able to resonate and somewhat relate with. Uh, I wanted a big long-term career with that big company. I wanted a big you know, desk window in New York by the skyscraper, getting transferred to Hong Kong and London and all this great stuff. Retire early. Uh, college debt, I didn't even think about it. Um, I want to be, you know, I, I want to have a wife who I could fully support. Um, where she wouldn't have to work, she would be able to stay home and take care of the kids, and of course I want to be in great physical condition forever. Do any of these things uh, sound like what you were kind of dreaming when you grew up? I mean, this is kind of how I always pictured my life uh, growing up and never even really thought twice about it. And then what actually happened? Uh, constantly just jumping around 13 different jobs in uh, my first 10 years in the workforce, and this of course is after getting a degree and a master's degree, uh, you know, going in multiple different industries, trying to start a business four different times and failing each time, just getting loaded with credit card debt, bank loans, student debt. Uh, I was actually a victim of identity theft once and it had a net worth of, of, of a negative $30,000. Next thing you know, 
doing everything that I thought I was supposed to do uh, by what I was educated in school, what people told me to do. Uh, I was married to three kids by the age of 29. I had a house that where the mortgage on the house uh, was worth or the, the, the mortgage was worth more than the actual value of the house. And I was commuting a two hour each way commute to New York City uh, at 40 pounds overweight. So what did I do to get here? Did I, did I just jump off a cliff myself and just say, you know, Tom, take your dreams and just squash them? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, you know, I'm not one for victimhood, but you know, the, the reality is that there's so many things that we just can't control in our lives that take place. Uh, I kept falling off cliffs. I was never thinking. I was never looking forward. I never made as much money as, as, I, was, as I was expected to or promised. Um, you know, corporate downsizing. Uh, I bought a house at the wrong time. I had kids very young. Lost money in the stock market. Uh, you know, I was living in a very expensive area. And then, of course, when I did think of problems and you know solutions uh, to uh, get by them, you know, I went from falling off cliffs to just hanging on cliffs. I tried to hold on to a path that really wasn't my passion, and that's the reason why I couldn't make much more money. Because I, I was I was in finance because that's what I thought I wanted to do. Because my friends did it, or school told me to do it, or relatives told me to do it. Because it just seemed like the right thing. My ideals were not in sync with my goals. Who I was was not being reflected in what I was doing. I was so obsessed with just fitting in into this Norman Rockwell mold and you know increasing my income by more traditional means. I wasn't you know sitting, sitting there saying, okay, what what do I have to offer the world? What is the best thing within me that I can possibly use, not only to make money, but to truly help people and give real value. Right? I was so close minded to any new ideas. And that's the problem with not only falling off cliffs but hanging on cliffs. And things just got worse and worse where you know, not, not, not only was I going broke, I was working a second job on top of my current sales job assisting my dying grandmother uh, from 6 o'clock at night till 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, she had offered to pay me uh, on her deathbed. I didn't want to take the money, but she said, look, I have to pay somebody. It might as well be you. Um, so while I got to spend my grandmother's last days uh, you know, with her, I, she helped me you know, stay afloat. My, my family and I, while my wife and I were pregnant, and of course we were also thinking about giving up the baby for adoption because we already had two kids and we just didn't have enough money. We didn't, we didn't even have, have, have enough money to buy groceries, pay the mortgage, do anything. And this of course was with, was with having jobs, working around the clock, and on top of paying just massive student loans. Um, I actually did consider going to the military at age 28 in order to get health benefits for my family. So it was a very dire situation and nothing I ever dreamt with, dreamt of. And uh, I thought I was at the absolute bottom and uh, that was going to be it. One time it just came at me, boom. Um, you know sometimes it's either a light bulb, uh, sometimes we just throw stuff against the wall and it sticks. For me it was a book, um, The 4 Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss, where I learned two concepts that really just changed my life. And the reason why is because it changed my line of thinking. Uh, I realized that if I stopped focusing on creating more traditional businesses and I stopped you know, going to recruiters and headhunters and going through connections and conferences and trying to find some other job just to stay afloat doing something that I probably didn't even really want to do, why not go and create abuse, leverage the power of the internet and create a, a money-making mechanism to create more time for myself and my family. Now you're asking me probably right now, what the heck is abuse? Well, it's basically a product or service that could be sold uh, via the process of automation, uh, where you get a get a product that has value for people that people actually want, and they go and they buy it from your e-store, and they're they're making orders when you're there, when you're not there, when you're sleeping, when you're fishing, when you're doing whatever. Everything is automated because. What I realized was that time is the true currency. The new rich, as Tim Ferriss writes in this book, is that the new rich don't just focus on having money. Who really cares if you make $3 million a year if you're working 90 hours a week and you never see your family and you never get any sleep and you hate your job and you hate your life? Would you rather be making, let's say, $200,000 a year and be paying a hell of a lot less taxes, have a hell of a lot less time and enjoying your life? So I really started to think about that and, and I really started to do 
more research, and I decided to take the bull by the horns and take action. And that led me to two years later earning close to $30,000 a month, quitting my corporate job, working at home with my, with my wife and kids, walking my kids to school every single day and picking them up. And then, of course, traveling to some great places, paying down all of my debt and doing whatever the heck I wanted. In only just two years, this came true. And I did it because I went from falling off cliffs and falling, or I'm sorry, and, and to hanging on the cliffs by jumping cliffs. I became a cliff jumper. How did I do this? I, I, I made the conscious decision to really take my life and just be fully responsible for what happened to me. Not sit there and rely on the job market or the economy or how far my master's degree could go or my personal connections. Okay, not do any of this stuff. Okay, I started to take responsibility for making money for myself. Myself, and then of course the way I did that was to become better. Right? Don't put in more. Okay, don't put in more time and more effort. Put in more to yourself. Work on yourself commit to personal development and make yourself better and that's what I did. I decided to say, you know what, I'm not going to sit there and define myself by master's degrees, PhDs, licenses, certificates. I'm going to define myself based on my habits and my habits are going to dictate how much money I make and more importantly, how much I offer and contribute to the world because that's what a cliff jumper is. Cliff jumpers are always playing offense and looking to improve the quality of their life and their family at all costs. So what the heck did I do exactly? Well, my wife and I, we both we both identified that internet marketing was going to be our muse, the way that we would set up a business on the side of our jobs. She was a corporate lawyer, and I was in finance and, of course, in sales. Okay, And we said, you know what? We're going to work smart, not work hard. We're going to work hard, but we weren't going to work any more hard than we had already learned to work. We were just, we just going to start working better and more efficient and more intelligently. So we made the commitment to study. We learned from our, men, from, our, from our mentors. We put five to seven hours per week into the side business. Okay, How the heck did we, did we choose this side business? There are so many side businesses, so many ideas out there. What are the criteria that we use to choose this opportunity? One, we said, okay, who is involved? What is the management team like? It's like when you get involved in any investment opportunity or any job opportunity. Who are the people behind it? Okay, is it some snake oil salesman, or is it somebody more reputable who has made a lot of money, who has been successful, who has given true value, who has demonstrated a professional track record? What were our goals? Were they in sync with the opportunity? We want to make sure that it fit into our lifestyle. We didn't want to go from from you know trains and planes and offices. Okay, and concrete um, to, you know, yeah, having a home-based business, but just being slaves to a computer. No, we want to make sure that it fit with our lifestyle, being active, being outside, being there for our kids, doing the things that we wanted to do. And then, of course, does it have legs? Does the opportunity have legs? Does it look like something that could last for a long time, you know, 10, 15, 25 years or more? Okay, so we chose these three criteria we used to look at the opportunity that we got involved in, with it. And of course what we did was we, we said, look, if you're going to be serious about any business that you get involved in, you've got to make a serious 90-day push. You've got to be fully engulfed into that business. You've got to find ways to, once you achieve your success, you duplicate that success to your other team members, the people that you bring on that team. So we're looking for other cliff, okay, we're looking for other cliff jumpers. We are, we, are, we are identifying cliffhangers and cliff fallers who said, I want to become cliff jumpers and, of course, looking for already existing cliff jumpers. And that's how we got involved and that's how we came to be so successful in doing what we're doing. So who am I looking for now and why am I talking to you giving this webinar? We're looking for these people who want to become uh, cliff jumpers. Do you want to take control of your own life and your own finances and squarely put the responsibility on your shoulders? Do you want to aspire to reach the biggest goals and dreams that you have? Are you willing to learn from true professionals who have walked the walk? Are you looking for a part-time and possibly full-time income? What the heck do you have to do, you're asking? All those questions sound great. Everything sounds great up to this point. What exactly do I have to do? Well, you've got to test Shark 
re shark repellent and go into a tank full of great whites and hammerheads for six hours. How does that sound? No. One, you've got to market a line of high-end, well-branded products over social media, affiliate marketing, and email marketing. This consists of two things, selling the product and bringing other people into the business. Two, you've got to be willing to improve and learn and engage in personal development, refine your skills, read books, get better, be willing to listen, be willing to accept criticism, be willing to do whatever it takes to achieve your goals. Know that the people who are working with you will do everything possible on their end and sacrifice and go beyond. And of course, three good old blood, sweat, and tears. What opportunity doesn't include that? So if you want to get involved, if you want to become, become a cliff jumper, if you at minimum want to have a conversation about becoming a cliff jumper, within the next 24 hours, I'd ask you kindly to please message me on either email, text, or Facebook and let me know what the best times are and we of course will set up a call. I am looking for a team of 20 people. I'm looking to make a launch here in only uh, three weeks. Anyone that comes on the team, I will dedicate my full time, dedication, and attention to to make you a a sound, very successful, um, at home business owner and leader and then duplicate my success and my efforts to you. Thank you very much for attending. I look forward to hearing from you. Tom McKeown, 